Okay. The thirdly, whether our error correction model, this is our error correction model, right? So whether this model is statistically viable or not, that we want to check. Statistically viable or not, okay? So first I check R squared value. R squared value is 69.76%. So it is quite high. So we are happy about this model because it is, it is almost 70% R squared value. And finally, the F statistics is significant because the probability is zero. So it is significant, meaning that the, uh, meaning that all the independent variables jointly can influence the dependent variable. So when the F statistics is significant, meaning that all the independent variables jointly can influence the dependent variable. And that is a good sign. And one more thing here is C2 is significant. That is a good sign. And C4 is significant because P value is very small. And also C6 is significant, but not at 5%, but at 10% level, it is significant. So at least and the error correction term is also significant. So meaning that at least one, two, three, four variables are significant, right? At 10% level. So we are, we are more or less happy because at least uh, four, four variables are significant. Individually, individually, four variables are significant. Okay, then uh, we talk about residual analysis. Uh, residual analysis. I go to view. I go to residual diagnostic. So first I check the serial correlation, whether this model has serial correlation or not. I click it. And suppose I choose lag 2. I choose lag 2. I press OK. So here is the bush Godfrey serial correlation. And what is our null hypothesis? The null hypothesis is there is no serial correlations. And we choose the observed R square and the P value. What is the P value? 87.82%, which is more than 5% meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis, meaning that there is no serial correlation in the model. Or, yeah, so there is no serial correlation in the model, so we are happy about this error correction model. Okay, then I check, uh, check about the the heteroscedrality test, I can check this one, the second one, residual test. Okay, here I choose the Bruce Gottfried test, I press OK. And here I choose the observed R squared, it is the test of Bruce Gottfried, observed R squared, and corresponding p value. So, what is the null hypothesis? The null hypothesis is there is no, uh, the null, null hypothesis is that the model is homoscedastic. The model is homoscedastic and we can reject the null hypothesis if the p-value is more than, uh, uh, sorry, we can reject the null hypothesis if the p-value is less than 5%. But but here, what is happening? How much is the p-value? 6.22%, which is more than 5%, meaning that 
we cannot reject null hypothesis. Rather, we accept null hypothesis, meaning that the, the model is homoscedastic and that is desirable. Homoscedasticity is desirable. So we are happy about this model. Then finally we check, fi finally I check the, the test of normality that is here, histogram. And it is the Jarkabera statistics and corresponding p-value. So what is the null hypothesis? That null hypothesis is the residual is normally distributed and it is desirable it is desirable for a model and here our p value is how much 71.64 percent meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis meaning that we accept null hypothesis that is the residual is normally distributed which is desirable so uh, for this model the everything is good the r square r square value is quite high f statistics is significant and there is no serial correlation there is no heteroscedasticity and the residual is normally distributed so we are happy about this error correction model and we can accept the result of this model.